Swing over here. And a repair. Okay, so I have to research this to get another one. Okay, so the other thing we want to get rid of, crowbar, prison suits, and bags. Probably move over a lot of the crafting components too, because, yeah, not that helpful. I'm going to grab the beacon just because, but otherwise this leaves us with a lot more inventory space. Beacons can be thrown from the inventory or the hotbar. Once on the ground, they can be interacted with to customize the color and information. Notes can be written in the text field. Cool. Okay, we've got a bed over there. Watch in a notebook. Anything in these drawers? Ooh. Okay. Yes. In fact, that's a lot of weaponry. Alright, so let's rest. And while we're here... Drink some beer. Drink some baked beans. Oh no, I dropped them. Eat both. Oh, I should probably wait until it actually gets all the way down. Okay, so they're, they are dumping a lot of stuff on me, so I might actually want to move away from just using melee weapons. Because I actually don't know if I need to. Any sort of enemy in here. There are zombie-ish things that we've encountered, like, once. Once or twice. I think I've fought three things so far. So I'm, I'm being a little careful just because. Yeah, I can loot these. I'm trying to loot everything in my immediate radius just because, you know, the more stuff that I've, I've snagged, the better. And we're just going to keep it in storage. What's the big red ping in the top left? I think that's contamination. So I, I can get mutated or infected, and then I have to, like, get medicine, probably. I don't fully know. Suffice to say, that's probably going to be way more important later. Yeah, decontamination pill. That's a lot of med stuff in here. Nobody's home. Looks like there's nobody here, living or otherwise. Everyone seems to have evacuated, and whatever the, whoever, whatever did this isn't around either. I guess this place is safe for now. I may as well set up my base camp here. This would be a good place to stage my escape. Fortunately for me, most of the important facilities for MPO are within walking distance of central control. I don't even need to power up those sections to reach them. I could probably reboot the 3D printer and the other facilities at N Nielsen Engineering. Maybe even print out some, some supplies I need. Herbert Research. Where I used to work, his research equipment I could use to feed instructions to the system in Nielsen. Probably have to use the excavator at the mine to gather materials at the 3D printer. I should also check out the biosphere. Probably use the agricultural systems there to supply the bio combiner at Nielsen Engineering. Maybe even sustain myself. I should check out each location and see if I can figure out what's going on. At the very least, I can get these facilities restarted. I can prepare myself for the worst. There are a few staircases leading to these areas somewhere around here. I'm sure I'll recognize them again once I see them. Yeah, so... Honestly, right now this is very much just kind of a... A wander and loot kind of game. Which, holy shit, I've been looking for... Honestly, this game for a while. And I feel a little... Foolish? Question mark? For not trying this out sooner. Because, like, this is... 100% up my alley right now. Okay, so what junk do we have? Because I'm going to have this be my junk storage. This is going to be my useful stuff storage. 
Because we, we've got all sorts of weapons that need to be repaired. And I've already got a gun and a baton. We'll just kind of come back on the regular. To deal with this stuff. And hopefully we can find a recycling system. Do I have anything else? I do have a lot of food and drink. Which I might not want to carry with me. And we also have a lot of... Healing stuff. Okay, let's drop that off. What else do we have? Mostly food. I guess, honestly, as long as I have... Probably the pineapple and the Vita D, we can put the rest of this stuff away. There we go. Let's scratch that Wanderlust itch. It's equal parts Wanderlust and also, like, good survival crafting games are kind of few and far between. This has got to be the power control console. As usual, there's no one here either. Should be able to control the flow of power for the colony from here, as well as monitor the generator's current status. The generator's not operating at full capacity, so I should be careful when connecting additional sectors to the power grid. I could overload the, se the reactor if I draw too much power. If I do, it'll overheat and probably initiate an emergency shutdown sequence. That would be bad. I could end up stranded if I'm not careful. What's worse, working oxygen filters and temperature regulators can't function without power. A blackout means certain death, as far as I'm concerned. I can't just sit here, though. I'll have to power up the other locations to gather supplies and gather information if I want to get out of here. There's a lot of consoles around here. If I search them, I might be able to find some information. Well, we got some key cards. A lot of key cards. Okay, power control console. Can be used to connect and disconnect the power from the central control to other locations on Mars. The generator has limited output capacity that can be ex extended, expanded with upgrades. The generator will overheat if West uses more power than it can produce. When it begins to overheat, a countdown will appear. Once the countdown finishes, the generator will shut down, causing a colony-wide blackout. Trams won't run without power, so don't get stuck. I feel like there's probably some kind of insane meta strategy where you do just overload. Okay, so we've got a couple of logs to take a look at. Martin. 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 Keep this record recordings on you so you can remember what to do. You can do this. I know you couldn't find much at the space center, but don't lose hope. We don't have spacesuits, so I need to need you to avoid all the areas where life support is down. The central cluster still seems to be okay, so I want you to take the train there. Head over to the mine and try and gather up some supplies. You wouldn't believe the stuff they have in storage over there, and you might be able to find some food in the break room if it hasn't already been raided already. Grab whatever you can find, and then head back here so we can get out before those, whatever those were, get you. Please, for the love of God, don't get distracted. Do not run off to the plaza for choco pies or anything else. I'm counting on you, damn it. Get what you can from the mine, then head back here. Got it? No choco pies. That's an order. And don't forget that key card. It's the only way to open the Space Center security door, and the only way back in. We need to try to keep more of those things out. And this is the only way. Don't lose it. It's Captain Roger signing off. Oh, here we go. Another journal. The tram brought me to central con uh, central control without any issues. Everything seems fine. It's rather odd, actually. I wasn't exactly sure what to expect when I arrived, but I didn't expect silence. Central tends to be swarming with people, hovering over terminals, talking, th uh, talking through the corridors, guards posted up at the doorways. Instead, it's a ghost town. Good news is that the oxygen generator seems to be running, otherwise it would have suffocated as soon as I opened the tram doors. Hopefully most of MPO is in a similar shape. Maybe I can check the status of each district's life support system somewhere in central control. First things first, better check on the reactor. Central control is where the power is monitored and distributed through MPO. The reactor is in a secured area, but it's literally down the hall. I can e easily access it, should it need maintenance. I'll need to keep the reactor in working order, as the entire colony is dependent on the power supply from this location to keep life support online. On top of that, the tram doesn't seem to be able to access any location that doesn't have any power, so I'll have to keep that in mind. I should explore the area and search for supplies, but most importantly, I should look out for the power control console. I already found that. 
got to be around here somewhere. Murray Space Center lost power. But if I can reconnect it, I might be able to find a way out of here. Or better yet, off Mars. And lastly, power control console update. All right, Dr. Khan managed to figure this out. Using the data you got from Dr. Raskov Raskowitz, I came up with probably Ras Raskowitz ish I came up with a user interface modification that we can use to calculate the rate of infection from a glance. It's really simplified, but it'll get the job done. First off, we've managed to trap, tap into each district's bioscanners. Thankfully, there are subsystems that are directly powered by the generator, so we won't have to worry about keeping observed locations powered. Each district's infection level is calculated by density. The more there are, the higher the percentage. Once I figure out a better way to calculate population, I'll patch it in. But for now, I'd set a threshold. If a district is above 80%, I'd steer clear of it. I don't even want to think about what 100% would look like. Next thing is, I've added to the UI is infection rate. Dr. Raskowitz, of all people, was right all along. Low oxygen levels and cold temperatures speed up the rate that this infection spreads. The infection rate readout will monitor temperature and oxygen levels and factor that into the estimated rate of growth. Once you get those prototype filters and regulators, the system is prepared to measure the suppression effect and factor it into these calculations. I don't get any of this, Dr. Khan. I mean, I punched in the data you gave me, but can you explain what's going on in a way that I can freaking understand? What's the correlation here? You know what? Screw it. I heard the evacuation announcement. It's just a matter of time before I'm allowed to get the hell out of here and forget all of this, so I'd rather not know just how crappy this situation is. It'd be better to be oblivious if this situation is as bad as security claims it to be. Okay, so I think that's everything. So how much power do we have? Power usage, 1300. Global infection, 10%. Okay, so the capacity is up to 1200. So I'm going to turn these on. Do I think I can get to the mine as well? Maybe? I'm noticing this is starting to drop, so I'm actually going to turn that off. I don't know why this is ticking down. Maybe it's one of those that the more I have turned on, the worse it's going to get for me. So I'll see if I can get to Herbert Research uh, and Nielsen Engineering, and then we'll figure out the rest. All right, so I'm going to quick step back over here. Let's even pick up... Oh, right. Junk. And a bunch of key cards that hopefully... I only need one of these. For each. Okay, there we go. Can I open these up? Oh, are these... So that requires the keycard to the mine and the biosphere. So I can't get to them anyway. And it looks like those keycards are actually used up. Thermal canister and an oxygen canister. Okay, so now that we've got those... Give everything back? Yes. Oh yeah, let's also turn off the power in the prison. Because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be going back there anytime soon. Okay, actually, honestly, even in that case, let's turn off Herbert Research. Um let's just purely do Nielsen engineering. Oh, that was the other thing. I was gonna grab some oxygen. Okay. Looks like I've got some spares. I might as well fill them up and carry them with me. I don't know how much of a risk I'm ever going to be at, but in the interest of everything, let's not risk it. Notice these here. Okay. Uh, let's see. 
That's medical stuff. This is junk. This is usable items. I'm gonna probably avoid using the grenades for a bit. There we go. Maybe a gun or two? No idea what lies ahead. I already have one gun. I'm gonna try and squeak by with this for now. Okay, canisters. Damn am I lucky. On top of avoiding the on top of avoiding the affected infected. I've also been fortunate enough not to die from suffocation or hypothermia. May change quickly if I'm not prepared. Power console indicated the oxygen filters and thermal regulators are offline for most of the colonies. So I'll need to find some oxygen and thermal canisters if I'm going to access those areas safely. Once I find some, I can charge them using recharging stations. Should also try to fix the oxygen generators and thermal regulators whenever, wherever I can. Whenever I can. Once I do, I'll be able to breathe or keep warm without the need of canisters. Save. It auto saves, I think. At least to some degree. And I can just save the game whenever I want. So I don't need a computer console to do it. Nielsen Engineering is one of the very few, uh, very first facilities bi built here on Mars. It's older than any other facility or district on Mars, including central control. Almost everything on Mars is manufactured here now, including pharmaceuticals and clothing. 3D printing technology is only f the only feasible way to found a colony on Mars. The logistics issues alone would have halted MPO's development, as replacement parts would have been would have had to been shipped out from Earth. Material shortages were also a problem on Mars back then, so the engineering bay has facilities to recycle and refine just about anything. So it will definitely come in handy, now that the colony has fallen apart. These days, Nielsen Engineering relies on the blueprint database at Herbert Research in order to print out objects. Thankfully, Nielsen Systems will cache blueprint data, so it won't lose access to the blueprints if Herbert loses power. None of the guys at Nielsen had a close relationship with the Bigelow Mining Company, so maybe I can find a keycard to the mine if I dig around. Okay, so in that case, that kind of implies I should go to research first. And let's go find that, uh, that better thermal regulator thing instead. Okay. You power that. Reconnect that. Okay, and then swing back here and see if I can find where I put that thermal regulator. The busted one. Broken thermal regulator. There we go. I think everything else I'll probably just try and ignore. Maybe let's grab a couple of things that I can research. There we go. That's probably too much, but having a couple of these things on me would not hurt. Oh, wrong one. We want to go here. Okay, power seems to be on. Herbert Research. Can't say it's good to be back, at least in these circumstances. Not that I'd be working it here again if they let me out at some point. Man, it's so quiet. I don't see Agatha rambling in her office, nor do I see Merrick or Jonathan whispering to each other in the halls. Raskowitz isn't shutting, uh, isn't strutting around. Dr. Can isn't lounging in his regular seat by the bio-research system. There's something shuffling, echoing down the halls every so often. My mind's playing tricks on me, I think. There are a pair of advanced research systems on the north side of the facility. I should find out if they're still working. It would be extremely useful if they are. Our living quarters were down, uh, were in the southwest section of the facility. If I look there, maybe I can find some key cards so the other place is connected to the central control. Some clues to what's going on. It's the research department. Someone had to have noticed something. Okay. So this might have a couple more bad boys. Let's leave that alone for a hot second. Well, there's... There's, in fact, something right there. Okay. I don't know. Do we just go gun? Well, that was quick.
There we go. That startled the shit out of me. I... This game's got a mood. Event Spectrum Analyzer Center. I spent a lot of time in here when I was working on my research. There are two systems here. One specialized for biological research, one for technological research. Each research system makes use of a tiny network of nanomachines to break down inserted samples into blueprints. They've been used to... They can be used to fabricate exact copies. It's an absolutely ingenious idea. I even borrowed some of the ideas behind its design for my own research. Since whenever I put in, in the machines here is lost when processed, I shouldn't put in anything that I currently need to survive, like an oxygen canister. Unless I'm willing to wait until I can make a new one. These systems are also networked to a think tank AI that specializes in improving de designs. I should see if I can make improved equipment by scanning some of the things I found. Blueprints can also be fed into the machine manually. Should I find any? It confuses the machine a little bit, but eventually the AI figures out that it's supposed to be reading instructions rather than making an exact copy of those instructions. All of this data is uploaded to the database that the 3D printer and biocombiner and Nielsen Engineering can access. I can use the facilities to make copies of objects I've researched or the improvements the think, think tank AI has made. Now let's see if I still know how to use this thing. Okay, Wes can research things, just go up to it, interact, cool. Okay, click to start research. So all of these take a while. I'm gonna probably start with the power packs. And maybe a baton. Oh, it looks like I can queue a bunch of stuff up. Works for me. Because yeah, ideally I won't be back here for a while. And I'll research the beacon. I'm not going to use it immediately. Do we research the flashlight? Yeah, why, why the heck not? What's the worst that could happen? Oh, oh shit, what is... The hell is that? I Okay, facility upgrades. Research analyzers, mine excavator, and farm accelerator need to be uh, upgraded if West wants to produce more advanced items. The upgrade software is produced from the corresponding data chips. These data chips are scattered around the colony and it's up to West to find them. Loses to their location may be found in reading logs. I, yeah, this game, this game's got a good mood right now. All right, good mood. I mean, it's not, it's not good, but it's fine. So what can I research here? Oh, uh, let's see. Let's start with the broken thermal regulator. That sounds really helpful. And I do have the extra canisters. Do I research them? I'll research these things on the way out. Or if my inventory fills up. I wonder if I can eventually turn on some automated defenses that just shred these things for me. Okay, maybe some of that stuff I can research. Is this a tooth? Infected tooth, infected tongue. File. Okay, don't see anything else around here. Let's go back to the recycler. Because we found at least a couple of extra things. Nope, we did not. Well, that's okay. Uh, let's see, what else we got around here? A lot of empty spaces. Okay, engineering sub door. So it looks like some of this just connects to engineering. Okay, can't take my eyes off the prize too much. Uh, let's quick do a loop of this area. Just to be sure. Okay, soft drink, humidifier, stylus. What are these things? I have no idea, actually. 
drawer. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. Okay. So wire, beacon, light bulb. Bunch of power packs. Power packs? And this is broken thermal regulator. Well, we already have one of those that we are currently um, researching, so it's not the most useful. I should probably just switch the gun. Seeing as I have a decent supply of these things, if they start getting broken, I just recycle them. Uh, let's see. Other thing... Okay, I do have the light stick on. Like the map. Can I zoom out? No. Well. Power station. Oh. I'm capped out inventory wise. Okay. That hungry? No. Looks like this is a dead end up here anyway. So there's a couple of bits that I can grab if I wanted to. I have never watched this game before. Don't worry, I've never played this game before. Okay, so it's warning me that I'm running out of thermal units. But I barely had any to begin with, and it's not terribly cold in here, so I don't think I'm going to worry about it. I really wish the, uh, the interactable scan would actually ping the whole room. Okay, another broken thermal regulator. And this is broken oxygen filter, which we do need. Okay, so I need to dump off something kind of heavy. Actually, easy answer. We're just going to dump off the other broken thermal regulator. Because they're worth researching or recycling, I'm not sure. But yeah, seeing as these are, these are busted anyway, let's get them researching so I can potentially fabricate one. Okay. Do I want to queue up all of these? It's really tempting to do so. Oh, we already completed the thermal thermal regular regulator research. Now I'm just going to throw in all of these for the time being. Why? Mainly just because I I don't feel particularly threatened right now. And the more of these things that I research early, the better. Okay. Yeah, because we're, we're getting a fair bit done. Act keycard, class B. Notebook. Oh, that's floor. Card reader, bunch of other things. So yeah, we'll want to hit up engineering sooner than later. What the deucel are you? Oh. Let's just stay the heck away from that. There we go. Grab that. Didn't actually hurt too much. It looks like. Okay, this is its thing. This is a whole thing. Also, we got around here. 
Game room, nothing more. There we go. Infected eyeball. Some billiard balls. Drawers. Okay. I think I'll have this be the last place that I check. For these. Oh, that's a seat. Okay, grab those. And good to go. Yeah, let's let's swing back home. I've picked up a lot of junk. And we could use a refill on a lot of my statistics. And yeah, I didn't take too much damage there, so I'm not terribly worried. Yet. We still don't have the key cards for the mines or any of those other facilities. Nor did I really expect that to be terribly convenient. Uh, let's see. This is the trash bin. Only immediate problem with the trash bin is... Let's see. Move the trash bin over here. Just so I have a reasonable idea of which is where. This is meds. This is empty. It's... I'm just probably going to have all of these be trash. Eventually, I'll, I'll probably drag these over next to the engineering entrance, just for the sake of it. Okay, we don't have any materials. We have some food. And I'm getting a little sleepy. Uh, let's see. Got any meds? Yes, actually. Didn't I select those to research? I thought I did. Oh. Okay, so I've got a lot of power packs. Oh. Yeah, seeing as these things recharge on the regular, I might as well just recharge all of them as I go by. Unless there's an actual penalty for this that I don't know about. Okay. Anything else? Hammer, beacon, these are good. Can I go up here? I can. Okay, temperature regulator. Can replace the temperature regulator, restore the temperature. I'm pretty sure this one is functional. Yeah, this one's fine. Okay, that's some canister filters. So we'll just leave those alone, because I, I can't do anything with them anyway. Uh, quick question, how's my gun doing? Durability is perfectly fine. Doesn't look like I have much to worry about yet. I heard something make a horrible noise in the background, and I don't like it. Okay. I think I'm just gonna... Put some of these away for a little bit. Oh, wait, no, that's a spare thermal and oxygen canister. I forgot I had researched those. Oops. Yeah, I might as well have spares of everything. At least for now. So how are we doing? The main issue is just carrying capacity. We're carrying a lot of heavy stuff. Oh, it's the canisters. Okay. I'll put them away. We don't we don't even need them right now. It's the canisters and it's the extra thermal regulators. Really? Oh, that's full. Anything else? We need some of the med stuff just in case. I think I'm good. 
So let's let's go turn on the power to engineering and then uh or do we finish No, let's let's finish checking out the science wing cuz there's there's definitely stuff left that I haven't checked out yet. Is this Oh, I had one one too many batons equipped. That's okay. The yeah, containers do have both an item and a weight limit. Good to know. It makes a lot of sense. It makes more sense than the uh, than the standard, you know, pure weight limit. Sorry, just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything bad in here that I had to be terrified of. Oh, this is sleeping. You know what? Uh, let's not do that. I should sleep though. Baxter's phone call. Okay. Transmission recorded April 14th, 2053. Murray, I need that research data chip back. I know you're a competent researcher. No one's questioning that, but some of your more questionable methods have been getting out of hand lately. I need it back. I'm asking this just once. I'm asking just this once. Baxter. No! And my methods are none of your business. Murray. I'm afraid they are. That's how this relationship works. Your liability, Agatha. Too bad. It's not even here, Baldy. The chip's with my sweet baby Mittens. Left it with my little Mittens because she never trusts anyone. See, she is such a good kitty cat. She's such a cutie the way she pops in and out of vents. Like a little meerkat, my itty bitty kitty mole. I told Mittens to never lose it, so I know she's going to do a good job. She'll hide it far away from your gross face. You'll never find her. What the hell? I guess it would be unsettling for you to hear that I already know that flea bag is somewhere in Viking Square. And that I have a new violin that ne needs to be stringed. You wouldn't dare. What? The hell? That doesn't sound like a healthy work environment. Okay. I was really worried ammo is going to be a serious concern here. But it looks like, uh... Looks like we're actually just completely loaded. Boy. Might have to go back immediately. This is just, uh... This is Trash Town USA. Trash Town Mars, I guess. Okay. Uh I guess let's go see what I can chuck into the into the research bin first. I got nothing. What about over here? Muscle Max. Okay, so there's a couple more over here. And then otherwise, we're actually pretty good. Then all we'll want to do is probably just upgrade the thermal regulator. Or upgrade. Uh, power up the thermal regulator around here. The A trash. Look. Alright, recycling is important. Okay, note to self, check hallways before I open every door. Okay, that good. That hurt. Infected nail. Gross. Okay, West research. Contamination is at one, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Why is there a dead person in my bathroom? Wait, was there anything in this one? No. I think you need Roombas with pistols. That'd be great! Oh, shit! Okay. I was not expecting two people in there, but hey-ho, here we go. Jonathan's phone call. Otherwise, my inventory is full. Nothing in here. Okay. Honestly, considering my inventory is just super full of some junk... Hmm. 
maybe I could put away some of this garbage. Namely, the biosphere seems really good. I think the game controller is slightly better, but even then, I don't know. We'll have to come back. I should I should probably just leave. 